so then uh, the the biggest errors that happen in uh, loops are uh, like off by one errors you like you you don't count them correctly okay so we're gonna see uh, uh, those kinds of errors here so we know that loop condition executes or loop body uh, executes only when the condition is true right so if balance is greater than target will that ever happen no because initially your balance is 10,000 target was 20,000 so if you write this incorrectly your code will not execute and you will spend all your time thinking why is my code not executing right so your condition should be true in order for your loop to run now if your condition is true and your loop is running you may end up with an infinite loop, right? So loop body basically executes till your test condition become false. And what if you forget to update your test variable, right? Okay, so let's say uh, this was our code, okay? While balance is less than target, is it? Yes, your balance was 10,000, uh, 10,000? Yeah, yeah, 10,000 and this is 20,000. You update your year, you update your interest, and then what? Then you do nothing and so it goes back. Is balance less than target? Yes, it was 10,000. Did you change balance down here? No. So this is your test variable, which is balance. And this is your condition, condition variable that you test against, right? If you don't update this balance, it will be an infinite loop. Because it, each time it comes up here, it checks balance. Yes, it's still less than uh, 20,000 keeps on doing this, it keeps on increasing the year and this interest, but never updates the balance, right? So this is called an infinite loop and that's one of the common condition errors in which you forget to update that variable, okay? If you update it, yes, now it's being updated, so each time it will be checked and uh, seen whether the condition changes or not, okay? So that's one common error. Then off by one errors are in which you're testing against one condition, whereas it should have been another type of condition. For example, if you start from zero, right? So your finger is zero and you're saying I'm going to uh, paint fingers, let's say, uh, on one hand. So either you can do this, start from zero and make it less than five, right? It, then it will be zero through four. Otherwise you start from one and stop at less than and equal to five, right? Then you have the correct one, two, three, four, five. So these are just uh, by or like off by one because uh, either you can start at zero and use a less than or you have to use less than or equal to. So depending on your programming condition, you should figure out whether you want to use less than or equal to or you want to use less than, okay? Inside the testing condition, okay? Then these slides basically give you examples, show you the outputs uh, and the explanation as well, pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you read and understand what's happening, okay? Then hand tracing loops is basically uh, telling you that uh, uh, we can and we should trace our loops by hand, 
on paper okay in order for us to understand what's happening okay so make sure you can see what's happening inside the code uh, even if you don't understand this specific example it's okay uh, you can just skip it it's for my full class but in summer if you don't understand you can skip this and that is all for the while loop.